somewhat of a whirlwind day. How did you, uh, how do you feel he came through it all? Man. <laughs> past, past two days have been, past two, three days have been crazy. Um, but no, nah, it's, today was a lot of fun, man. Getting a, you know, getting a win. Um, and just the way we started the game, like lots of energy. Uh, carried us out, you know, throughout the game. They made a push, they made a run, and and we were able to to, to stay strong and, and get the dub. So that was that was very important. What was going through your mind when you got introduced and the ovation, people standing, mm. cheering? What, how, how did that make you feel, and what did that do for you? Man, it meant a lot, you know, it meant a lot. Uh, like I said I'm I'm the, whole, I'm the hometown kid, and just coming in and, and like I said, trying to trying to get a win for the fans, um, trying to win for the country. So yeah, it felt great. What did it feel like at the line so late in the game, kind of the game on the line, and mm. you're trying to get like, going on the first game, or you just ignore all that? Like... Nah, I was, I was focused. I was locked in. You know, try, like I said, coming here to try to help winning. You know, so anything, anything I can do. Yeah, you mean you got a couple of opportunities in the second quarter, grab and goes in transition, and that's a good part of the game, obviously, for ever. But um, did, is that something Darko encouraged you, talked about really wanting to? Yeah, part? absolutely. You know, when I, when I get in transition, go, you know, play my game, um, definitely encouraged, was encouraging me there. Talk about how crazy these last couple of days have been, but I, I was looking at your schedule in New York. You guys spent most of the month in December on the road. You guys are heading out, spending most of the next month on the road. <laughs> Not to remind you, but is that just life in the NBA, or does this feel like a bit of an <laughs> excessive stretch? Yeah, man. I I thought I didn't have to do that again, <laughs> but. You know, it's, those are those are tough, man. Those are they're not easy at all. But you know, if if you fight, you stay together with the team. You know, and as we're figuring things out, this would be a good test for us. You know, so I'm excited to 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 see you know how we do on this trip. Is it positive that kind of get forces you guys to get to know the other guys mm-hmm. for a while. Yeah, absolutely. Together. Spend more time together, you know, on the road and stuff, uh, and. And yeah, I mean, we had a good win tonight at home, but you know, let's see what we look like on the road. It seems like you and uh, Scotty have had a fun and ride with the years. Mm-hmm. Just want to know where that stems from, and um, we just talked about that. Already. Man, he's—I mean, he's a competitive guy. You know, so am I. Um, and uh, I've always enjoyed, you know, playing against Scotty. Is uh, so playing with him and, and you know playing with him tonight, man. It was it was cool. I don't think I don't think anybody stepped on anybody's toes. Um, you know, we called a lot of people had a good game tonight. So so it was gonna, that's what we're gonna need. Did you guys cross paths at all in high school? Or Scotty? Scotty? Yeah, we played against each other. We never played. We never played together though. Okay, bit of an off topic question, but Tristan being back in the league, what have you seen from him? This year, you know, obviously mm-hmm. wasn't playing in the regular season, enjoying the Lakers yeah. playoffs, and now playing some real minutes for Cavs team. What have you seen? Double T, my big brother. Um, I mean, he's back in the league, and you know, he's playing. And look, I mean, they're they're 18 and 18, 18 and 15. So you know, he's, he's playing uh, good minutes on a on a good team. And uh, you know, he's always been able to be a, a high energy guy, getting a lot of rebounds every time. Every time he's out there, you, you got to send two, three people at him to keep him off the boards. Um, so, you know, I'm happy for him and, and to see him playing well. What did he mean to you growing up, kind of seeing him before you the route they took? What did they mean to you? Yeah, him and Corey were like, you know, those were the first guys. Those are the guys that, you know, growing up, him and, and, and Wiggs too, just they made, you know, my generation believe, you know, that we could we can make it to the league. We grew up, we're like, man, we're going to be there just like them, you know, so uh, he's been, Double T's been that guy for a while. Obviously, uh, two different teams, but do you think there will be any benefits to being in Canada leading up to Paris now? Yeah, that would be, that'd be cool, you know, you spend some extra time at home. It's not bad at all. You know, you've had a long career internationally in the NBA, so, you know, regular season games not going to be at the very top of the list, but where did this rank for you in terms of, you know, such a successful yeah. World Cup game? Yeah, this was, this was special, man. This, this was special. Way better than any other time I've ever played here. So, uh, 
Yeah, no, this this was a special one, uh, and I'm always appreciate this night. Déjà une question en français. D'abord bonne année et bien et bon retour à, à Toronto. Euh, Est-ce que tu peux me dire juste en français comment tu t'es senti pour ce premier match à la maison? Ouais, euh, j'étais vraiment excité. Euh, J'adore jouer au basket et jouer au basket en Canada, mais très moi, très moi excité. Merci.